as I uh, look over and pray over our valley this morning and how stunningly beautiful it is, I just want to first of all say thank you to so many of you for um, being who you are and, and doing what you're doing and giving the way that you give in so many different ways in our community and through the local church. So I want to say thank you as we come to this time of year that uh, we get to together stop and pause and enjoy all that's happening in and around us. I just want to take a few minutes just today just to say thank you to you for your constant giving. You've been amazing people. You've constantly allowed yourself to be available and flexible and open to the Lord. And you've been constantly walking in, in the obedience of just honoring him and giving with your finances and tithing and caring for people and caring for the local community in all the different ways that you've given. You've been absolutely amazing. And I just want to say thank you as we come to a Christmas time as 2019 closes out and 2020 gets ready to explode. Uh, and we jump into it as a group of people here serving in Utah. One of the things that we as a church are in the middle of right now as we close out the end of the year is, is a heart. Uh, for our house, um, as you as you know, probably uh, we've had <clears throat> you went to for 25 plus years. That building's been around, and and Ogden over the last few years, it's probably been around for over 10 years. The building there, and we're continuing to expand here just just recently into Syracuse. And we would just ask you as a church, as 2019 comes to an end, if you're looking for a end of year um, place to give or an end of year way to say thank you or to invest in something, we would ask you to think about uh, looking at all the different things that are available in reference to um, our heart for our house. There's a lot of different stuff that needs to be done. There's a lot of different things that need to be fixed and, and prepared for the future. As we think about the next generation using our facilities and buildings, maybe long after we've gone, here in 2019, we have an opportunity as a group of people, as a church, to, to pray through and see what God would have you to do. If you want to read about it in the scripture, there's an incredible story in First Chronicles uh, 29 where David is engaging with the people about investing for the future and investing in the temple as it were, the local church, you could call it, that God has allowed them to have as a place of uh, gathering and a place of worship, a place where they can come together and look into all the things that God wants to do in and through them in their life. And so we would ask you today, as we move into the end of 2019, to pray through and see if God would stir your heart to give a special offering towards some of the, the work that we need to do within our house, as it were, within the church, to keep it available for the next generation, for the next five years, for the next 10 years. And so as you pray about it, there'll be a list available that we sent out of all the different areas that we could do with some work being done and, and some modernization and from ref some refreshing that could take place with our with our buildings as we'd ask you to pray about it think about giving towards that as 2019 comes to an end and we just want to again want to say thank you so much for your continued giving and tithing and and giving to the lord and allowing him to use your finances to impact and transform and change people's lives so i just want to say thank you for for everything thank you for who you are thank you for allowing me to serve alongside of you thank you for allowing me to be who god's calling me to be and thank you for your support and your um, <clears throat> encouragement and your input into my life and into the life of Crossroads Church. We're a part of the jigsaw puzzle. There's an incredible picture that God is painting in Utah through um, the kingdom and through his kids and through the church and we're a part of that and you're a part of that so i just want to say thank you so much for all that you do for all of us have a great great day um, bless you and take care bye for now